It's TGIF Friday, March 24th, 2023, your day weather podcast. Brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com. Also being brought to you by YDOT. We've got winter driving conditions coming in to parts of the West this weekend. Be ready. Call 511 to get the latest road conditions. Unsettled weather going to be dominant through the weekend when I say, or you hear another meteorologist say unsettled. That means you got to just kind of be ready for a little bit of everything as the weather will be changeable and variable, which is kind of what we get used to this time of year as we get deeper into the spring and seasons trying to change. We have another Pacific wave to bring areas of scattered rain, snow showers, mountain snow, a little bit of thunderstorm activity again in some areas. As we go through the day today, especially kind of working its way west to east across the area, a good part of the day today, there really won't be a lot going on. So we'll go through the first half of the day with not much happening, but as the day progresses, more weather becomes a little bit more apparent. We've got a small storm that's really going to focus on southern and southwest Montana, northern and central parts of Wyoming and western South Dakota. Pretty intense little storm. It's not a big one, but it's going to pack a punch for you folks listed in that area there. We will see some pockets of scattered snow get east of the divide, parts of eastern Colorado, parts of western Kansas. There's going to be little pockets of snow showers getting across the divide. It'll be kind of haphazard patches of it, but that'll be a possibility this weekend. And boy, is it going to be cold. I mean, really cold this weekend with this trough coming on in. So temperatures are going to still be far below average. Next week, there's really nothing to tell you that's any different. Essentially, it's the same pattern. We're going to see another strong storm roll into California early next week, which will spread a trough of low pressure into the western United States again, just kind of like what we've been going through. So there's more active weather coming our way. Now, some of you got to see a show last night the, the sun has been very active, and we had the Aurora show up. Thanks, Tim, up in Cody, for sending these in. The Aurora over the Heart Mountain area last night. And there's a spectacular shot there of the Aurora Borealis putting on a show. Kind of an opportunity gap between systems to have enough clear skies to see that. Today's satellite imagery shows thunderstorm activity down here in East Texas, heading into the Midwest. Typical springtime weather with some severe weather out here with that activity. Right here, you can see the swirl just off the coast of Seattle here. We've got a trough and a front coming on in to the west coast. It doesn't look like much, but these clouds right here showing cold, moist, unstable air over the Pacific waters heading inland. So this system is going to be a real slow mover and might grate its way east, southeast towards the region as we head into the next 48 to 72 hours. And there it is up here, just off the coast of Washington State, heading southeast. And then by Sunday morning, there's just going to be a, a lumbering area of low pressure from that system coming out of the Pacific Northwest, slowly spinning its way through the Rockies. Now, since it's taking more of a northerly track, that's why this area up here is going to be under the gun the most for the heaviest snowfall with scattered areas of snow shower activity elsewhere. The broad, deep part of this trough and the jet stream staying well to our south, well, the door to Canada is open. This area of low pressure up here, western side of Hudson Bay, is just a, like a cold air pump, just pumping that cold air out of western Canada into the western United States. Literally, this is a map you would see in January or February. And this is not a very March looking map right here in terms of what you would see in terms of temperature and conditions. Now with the anticipated winter weather, the pink and the purple areas right here are under some form of winter weather advisory or winter storm warning as the system heads our way. And you can see for parts of the Pacific Northwest, but you can see North Central, Northwest and parts of Central and far Western Wyoming, Eastern Idaho, Southwestern Montana, you're going to see the most fun coming up here over the next 48 hours or so. And here's the expected precipitation through 6 p.m. Sunday. So we continue to see this area of heavier moisture. So from Jackson Hole to Red Lodge to Cody 
down to Matitsi, up into the Billings area, all along that Wyoming border, the northern bighorns, Sheridan, Buffalo, maybe down to KC and Midwest. Then this little finger may get out across Interstate 90 to parts of Gillette on the way to Rapid City as well. Uh, but this is the type of system that's going to deposit a lot of very heavy snow into the mountains and it's going to be plenty cold enough for the snow to reach the lower elevations. The Wind River Mountains, then you can see eastern Idaho into the northern parts of the Wasatch right there. This is going to be a significant storm. Then you can see there is going to be moisture getting out east of the divide into the mountains of Colorado as well, unsettled. And this is what the snow looks like. Here, I would not be surprised if we see some snow totals exceeding 20 inches in the mountains around Red Lodge uh, and into the Beartooth Mountain areas. It's going to be a, a pretty good dump of snow up there into those areas. And there you can see if we focus in a little bit more. Now the lower elevations of the Bighorn Basin towards the center of the basin, you are going to get a bit of a snow shadow. You're not going to see as much for let's say Powell down into Grable, maybe down into Warland, but you're still going to get snow down into those areas as well. Big snow coming for you folks up into the northern Bighorns. Temperatures going nowhere. I know this is a little depressing for those of you wanting to see those tulips and daffodils poking through the ground. Well, Mother Nature is just refusing, refusing to bring us anything remotely like spring. This is the temperature anomaly for Saturday. This is the temperature anomaly for Sunday. So welcome to February in March. Then by Tuesday, we've got another bowling ball. Does this look familiar? I think I showed you a map just like this about a week ago. Here, this, the patterns repeat sometimes. Here we go with another deep low, another bowling ball-like low, deep and intense coming into central and northern California by Monday night and Tuesday and Wednesday of next week in the Pacific Northwest as well. And with this cold air coming in from the north like this, I don't know if we're going to get much of a moderation in temperature Monday and Tuesday, maybe a little bit, but this guy will then swing into the Great Basin and come into the Rockies as we get on into that Wednesday, Thursday time frame. Whether or not it stays organized or becomes kind of an open wave like we just experienced, we'll have to figure that out. But this is basically a pattern repeating itself. And if you look at the 10 day precipitation forecast across the country, we're going to see snow returning to north and areas of North and South Dakota and the Northern Plains states with this wave coming on out. You can see California in the West Coast and the interior West continuing to pick up more precipitation. And this is the snowfall forecast over the next 10 days. So the Northern tier of the US along and north of Interstate 80 has got a lot of winter coming. And this 10 day forecast, believe it or not, takes us into early April. And then the next 10 days, this is the 10 day temperature anomaly. Again, it's the same pattern, broken record, same thing we've been seeing for the last few weeks, and that's how it's gonna go for the next seven to 10 days. Have yourself a good weekend, despite that forecast. Have yourself a good one, we'll see you Monday.